Everybody, welcome back to Fairville Plays The Binding of Isaac. We've been on a, a freaking tear, brother. All right, let's let's see what we need to do still. Maggie, unlocked by seven, by having seven heart containers. I'll be honest with you, this will probably be the last character we unlock just because I very rarely save up red hearts. Judas, I forget how to get. Eve, that'll probably just happen. Lilith, we gotta do greed mode. Apollyon, I forget who you need to beat for him, but I know he's not too bad. I think we should just do an Eden run. Yeah, let's let's do an Eden run, shall we? We have two Eden tokens. We might as well start making use of them. Let's see what we get. Dude, Mama Mega. We also have a companion. Where I I, I honestly don't know where that where he's Oh, it's from our trinket. 404, which won't last. And then we also have a syringe, which I think is the damage up. Alright. Decent decent damage. Decent damage meaning that's like really solid damage. 4.91 damage is banging, especially for the first couple floors. We could use Mama Mega for oh my god. Well that's just incredible. Our speed is a little bit low. <laughs> we could use Mama Mega to clear out pretty much this entire floor. I don't think it's worth it. I think we um we'll try for boss rush. We'll do our, our typical stuff. I was gonna say don't be a health down, please. We'll do our typical stuff here and and you know try to oh boy try to get to boss rush normally but if we do fall a little bit behind we can pretty much use mama mega to to skip just an entire floor which is having that freedom is great main goal get to mom's heart clear it out maybe even get back our eden token so we could keep doing some eden streaks but with that also being said i i kind of i don't want to do eden streaks too early until we, we clear up with the heart, which will be, you know, quite a few more videos, unless we find a way to kill the halt, the heart multiple times in one run, which I don't think you can. Well, that's not true. We might be able to. If we get, like, a forget-me-now or, or even, like, a, a dice room that lets us reroll the floor, I think it, it would be difficult. We would need to teleport out of the mom's heart fight. Oh, dude, it's the gurglings. I genuinely don't like this boss. Also, I have, I do not know why I put a bomb there. I think it's because I'm pressing the wrong button to use a bomb. Because despite playing this game for... Yeah, that's my fault. Despite playing this game for a long time, I'm still an idiot when it comes to playing with a keyboard and mouse. That's it. That's You know what? Don't worry about it. We might be able to kill Mom's Heart multiple times in one run. Um, but it's definitely going to be something that will have to be worked towards. Yo, the Halo... All stat upgrade, including HP. Our damage is disgusting. I normally wouldn't do this just because, you know, your boy is for the most part. Actually, no, never mind. I talked myself out of it. I was going to say, let's go find the Seeger room because we have more than enough bombs. But then also like, nah, but I will check. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Could potentially be here. Is not here. Is absolutely here. What a day to be alive, dude. Okay. Infested, fine. Explosive diarrhea, little dangerous, relatively fine. Luck up is huge. Paralysis is neither here nor there. We'll take the other infested, we'll go down. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very positive. Chat, how are you all doing today? Hold on, let me hydrate. Mm. I gotta say, I'm in a good mood. And I'll tell you why I'm in a good mood. School is now officially ended. The curse is, is free. You know what? We could use Mama Mega here and just guarantee our deal with the devil. We we could. I don't want to use it on the second floor. I like we don't we don't need to use it on the second floor. And like honestly, if we, even if we do get hit and lose our chance of the deal with the devil, maybe that means that this will be the run where we unlock Maggie and just try to get seven heart containers anyway, because that has to be done. And I I, I promise you, I'm not trying to put it off. It's just that it it goes against my play style, and I got an issue. It's you know it's compulsory. But I'm feeling good. School's over. I mean, we are coming up towards the holiday season, which, you know, probably could have done that with one bomb now that I look at the geography there. But it's not like we got to worry about bombs or anything. The, the holiday season's coming up, which is fine. I do like the holiday season. I talked about it before, but, you know, with school being over, I don't have to worry about, like, waking up every day and thinking to myself, oh, my God, did I hand in my assignment? Because the answer is, yeah, your boy did. Yo, that's a good item. I would like to bomb the rock. Mr. Mega has been added to the game. I'd like to bomb the rock. Oh, no. I want that. It, okay, well, 
First of all, take 2020. <laughs> we ended up giving it another dollar. That's fine. Dude, 404 is, is actually helping out in, in a way that's not even that bad. I think that this is going to be a one run. Yo. Shoot the Whoop is a good item. We could use Mama Mega to get into Boss Rush even if it takes us longer than 20 minutes to get down there. Which is, which is an ability of the item that, honestly, I just discovered, like, relatively recently in, in terms of my Isaac knowledge. We could also use it... We could also use it to fight the Hush. Which, maybe that's not the case. I will take Endless Nameless. It, it is arguably better. We can also use it to get into the Hush fight. Which might not even be possible because... We haven't unlocked the hush yet, so maybe not. But if that's the case, yeah, why not, dude? This I, this this run is rich, but I'm feeling very good. All my assignments are accounted for. You not to brag or anything, but your boy is. I don't know if I'm top of the class, but I am definitely in the top of the class. You know, my my lowest grade. And look, that's fine. Give me some spiders, brother. My lowest grade. I'm not here to flex. Because I don't like being one of those people where it's like, ah, how do you do on the test? And then they're like, oh, well, you know, I, I did really poorly. I, I thought I knew the material well and that I studied and everything. But turns out I only I only got a 97. It's like, And then you're like, oh, okay. Well, you know, it sucks to be you. No, but, you know, my lowest mark, is, it's, it's, it's the low 90s. And I'm proud of that. You know why? Because being like a... Dude, it's weird going back to school as a... I've unlocked Butterbean for doing something i don't really i honestly don't know what but sure take it it's 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 weird going back to school it, like college is weird in general just because of you know so many different people from so many different walks of life are there hold on what do you get i, I will take i will take both of these gimpy more than likely will pay for itself and then even more damage is is just banging did i go to the item room yes we got 2020 a, a solid item College is weird just because, you know, you're dealing with people from, like, different walks of life. But it is, like, it's different going back to college as a, I guess, a mature student. You know, I am, I am older. I am, like, it's, it's nice. I'm not the oldest person in my classes. There are a few people that are older than me, which is nice for, like, my own, like, I, I got nothing to be embarrassed about. But, you know, it's good that I'm not the oldest person there. But then I also have to deal with... And I, I say this with love, but I have to deal with, like, literal children that are just out of high school. Which, good for them. You know, I'm, I'm glad that they're going to college right after high school. As opposed to taking a year off and then never going. Which, you know, is, is also fine depending on, on your beliefs. But, my god, man. I'd, like, I'm trying to think back when I was 18. 18, 19, on the cusp of, of 20 -dom. Was I that ungodly annoying? I don't think I was. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, like, maybe I was. I mean, some would argue that today, in fact, I am annoying, but my sweet God. Yeah, here's my thing, okay? I've always been, like, a good student, in my opinion. Or at least I try to be. I never try to, you know, I don't disrupt in class. I just I just kind of stick to myself, do my work, and then I, I'll talk when I'm not in class. Yo, petrified poop. Early on in the game like this, it's worth taking as i get literally one payout but we will we will forego endless nameless for the poop i think that's absolutely worth it a couple bomb synergies also would be like really nice for us right now and we we don't even need that many like maybe one or two solid pickups and that's all then you know we're good i don't like disrupting i remember at the beginning of the class this is an interesting option for us we only got three keys so i don't want to go too hard on it but let's find our shop and our item room first and then we'll talk about it after but you know like at the the first week of classes it's always just a waste of time i'm sorry well maybe i don't know maybe if you're like fresh in school and you're like oh i wonder what we're gonna do today i'll go over the syllabus oh boy <laughs> you know but as someone like me i've been in classes before i know that the first week is pretty much well i'm your professor today i've done this this and this and you know this is the complete outline for the course and i really don't want to be talking about all this but i have to because you know it's mandated by the union and then yeah, and they go over, like, the basic stuff, too. You know, they always go after, over the, like, don't have your cell phones in the class unless it's a, an emergency because it's very distracting, not only to yourself, but the people around you, blah, blah, blah. 
you know, don't listen to music in class because it's disrespectful. And I don't know where there was a secret room that opened up. Hello. Sure. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Um, shop. More than enough money. I'll get back to the story in a second, I promise. You know what? This is a donation room. What are we at? 25? My God, man. This is going to take literally forever to get this thing up to 999. My, like, genuinely, it's going to be some work. Did we not take anything in here? Right, right, right. It was mom's pad. Okay. We're good. As long as I'm not forgetting stuff because this run is pretty much, I'm on autopilot mode right now. There's always, like, one person, and it's usually a child who's like, uh, why can't we listen to our music in class? And then the professor's like, well, because, you know, I'm teaching, so it'll be hard for you to listen to what I'm saying if you're listening to your own music and then they're like well what if we listen it listen to it with headphones in it's like well no because then you're not listening like you, you know what i mean dude squeezy banging this will not be a run where we unlock maggie <laughs> brother bobby you know what I'm, I'm gonna take it not because we need it or that i think it's a good item because it is trash but we need to pick it up anyway for the collection so we might as well go with that there's always one that, like, argues, and it's usually someone who's 18, and it's usually someone who's right out of high school. Like, do you really need to... But the problem is, and this is where, like, my, like, boomer mentalities are going to take over. The problem is, is, like, you're going to have this conversation in front of everyone with the professor for, like, five freaking minutes. How about you just, like, shut up so we could get through the syllabus faster, and then I could, like, go have some food. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not trying to... That was a really bad hit on my part. I'm not trying to say, like, you know, that your questions aren't important. But, you know the saying where they're like, there are no stupid questions? That's, that's, that's not true. There are stupid questions. Why? Because stupid people exist. Now, I'm not saying that the person who argued that, you know, he should be able to listen to his music in class was a stupid person. I'm sure that he was maybe pretending to be... A funny person and as somebody who pretends to be funny pretty much every day I could relate to that like I get that like that's fair like yeah you want to make a joke however here's like one of the secrets to comedy learn when to make a joke and how to make the joke and like if your joke is no no oh no well here's what we're doing I don't want to pick that up at all <laughs> we might actually we might we might go back and pick up pick up the tick Thanks. See, yo, Gimpy paid out already. What a day to be alive. We might go back and pick up the tick. I think we're like at the cusp of the run where like there's gonna be less poop on the ground anyway, so petrified poop doesn't do much for us, unfortunately. And we do need to pick it up anyway for the collection book, so I'm not gonna be too picky about it, even though you know that your boy is. And just, you know, tell your jokes, that's fine, but also, I don't wanna, you know, this class is two hours. If it's the first day, we know we're not gonna be here for two hours, so shut up. And just do what you gotta do. I also love the people. Okay, HP is getting a little low. We are fighting the Fallen too, which is... Which is, I think, the first time we fought him. Unless we got him in boss rush. But also, it means a guaranteed deal with the devil item for free for beating him. Yeah, dude. Horror Babylon, very good. Especially since we don't have any red hearts. So we're, we're cruising. I think we just, uh... We just head down. I don't know. Peep for some pills. We don't have much that's good, but even a magic mushroom? No, that's fine. That's okay. Um, do I want the tick? I think I want the tick. Kinda. It'll make boss rush easier. The thing with the tick is that it's it's the only... Well, actually, is it the only trinket? I don't know. It may or may not be the only trinket that once you pick it up, you can't swap it out for another one. So we're stuck with it. It's not a... Oh, dude, sun card's huge. It's not a bad item. It's just that I hate it. So, you know, a little bit of that. Anyway, hold on. Let me hydrate. Yo, fast fast run. Very good Eden run. Anyway, so yeah, school's over now. So I'm, I'm happy with that. It's It's been a, it's been a good day. I'm going to sun card in here. Just because I, I just, I hate Curse of Darkness. Yo, speaking of Curse of Darkness, we're going to have to start doing some, um, some challenges relatively soon. I don't know when. I, you know what I should do? See, I would like to pick that up, but I can't because your boy has a tick. What I should do is look up the challenge list and see what unlocks what. Because I would love to unlock some of the runes like the Yara and the Hog... Well, 
Not Hagalas. Yara and Perthro, excuse me. A little peeper, sure, we'll take it. And then having those two unlocked before we unlock all the other ones means that every time we get a rune, it's guaranteed to be one of the good runes as opposed to one of the, the filler runes. Which won't help in the long run, but it will help in the short run. And honestly, you know, I'm a... I'm not a, I'm not a far ahead planner. I'm like a today planner. Like what am I going to do today? Well, you know, I'm going to wake up. Yo, okay. Current obsession. Well, hold on. School's over. I'm happy about that. Holiday season is coming up. I I'll tell you now, expect to hear a lot of holiday themed anecdotes coming up in the future. Do we like I don't know. We need this item for our collection. I believe so anyway. It just it doesn't do anything for us. So, I'm just like it's, we're just not going to take it. Let's peep inside the secret room. It's a mushroom room, huh? I'm not opposed to getting an all damage up. <laughs> no. We got an infested. I could have. Did we not already have infested as an item? How is it being double unlocked? Oh, excuse me. Yo, the fly's doing work. But yeah, the holiday season's coming up. You're probably going to be hearing a lot of holiday-based anecdotes from me. But, you know, what do you expect, man? Tis this... What a great hit. Tis the season. Thank you, Gimpy. Never mind. Not even a great hit. Didn't even register. What in God's name was I going to talk about? Dude, Mask of Infamy. Re difficult boss, but not an impossible one. Okay? Gimpy is just banging right now. Charge me. Eat it. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Take the bombs, brother. I'm on a schedule here. I don't know if you've noticed this. Thank you. But, we, I, you know, I only got six minutes to get to boss rush. Oh, my God. This is It's a dangerous situation. We can't take more than one thing, unfortunately. I'm going to take Brimstone. It's going to put us in, like, pretty much a life or death situation right now. We could die on this run, but there was also a, a really good point. Have we had Brimstone on this series yet? I honestly don't believe if we did. It might have been on the first episode, now that I think about it. But we have double Brimstone. It's a banging synergy. Um, we have to be careful exclusively because uh, we could die pretty easily. There, there was a really good case to be made for taking Dark Bum. Because with Gimpy and everything, we could have we could have made something work there with pretty much free HP forever. But honestly, Gimpy hasn't been paying out with a lot of red hearts on killing enemies, so I don't care about it. With that being said, though, it has given me like 14 spirit hearts at this point, so guess what? I care about it. Easy. So we got to play it a little bit safe. This is the boss rush room, right? Yes. So do we use Mama Mega? I, I think no. Not it's it's too late for it. That's mine. Okay, we're good. I think we save it and maybe maybe use it on the womb two to see if we could cheese our way into we're, we're gonna take advantage of this and see if we could cheese our way into yo. Diplopia is massive into the hush fight. I don't think it's possible, but we might as well learn. Mom's key I think is good. Mom's key, I, I think, is good. So you know what? Let's do this. Diplopia everything. Take Mama Mega. Activate it. What are you? Tower. Thank you for being a health up. We'll take our second Mama Mega. We'll take Mom's key. Get a little bit of keys out of it. Honestly, dude, that's a solid play. Could we have done more with Diplopia? Yeah, absolutely. Now that I think about it for more than a couple seconds, we probably should have saved it for Boss Rush and then used it to double every item in Boss Rush. I don't like this room. I don't like this room. Does that make me a coward? No. It makes me human. Sometimes it's not, it's okay to not to, to be afraid, you know? Okay, anyway. You know how, like, every once in a while you get in those moods where you're like, I don't want to do anything today, so you stay in bed and you watch random videos on YouTube? First of all, if that's what brought you here today, what's up, brother? Thank you for checking it out. Secondarily, I started watching a lot of videos... <laughs> I, it, it's not funny. Like I'm proud of it because it's really cool and interesting. Wow, that's that was a really good payout from uh from Gimpy there. But I started watching videos of like Korean street food and how they make it and stuff like that. I'm not as you know I'm not culinary practiced if that makes any sense. What a weird floor layout. Basically, I don't know how to cook. 
I've, I'm trying to learn. I like to learn how to cook. I enjoy cooking, and 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 baking specifically is nice too. So I just I just kind of stumbled upon the Korean cooking street food phenomena. I guess you could call it. My God, man! You know how like this is how you know someone's really good at what they do. It's like when you watch them do it. Yeah, dude. There's boss boss rushes already open up behind the door. Beauty. When you watch someone do something and you're just like. I could do that. That looks easy, you know. That's how you know. So I was—I've been watching like so many of these Korean street food artists. What do we want here? All of this is bad. Bumbo. That's not Bumbo. That's that's bum. That's bum friend. We take this and get spun. Yeah. Yeah. We take this and get spun. Um, let's let's be safe here. I'm not gonna take the pill just in case it is a telepills because we do have to actually do this room. Uh, you're not supposed to have the angel out already, brother. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. Are we at all lined up to unlock Eve? I believe it's don't pick up any hearts for two floors. I'm not gonna try for it. We should get it, but yeah. So I've watched I've watched so many fried egg sandwiches being made. Thank you, Host Hat, for protecting us from that. Just never mind ungodly shot I've, I've watched so many fried egg, egg sandwiches being made and part of me is like i can make that so i actually i did no it's the freaking bloat brother i did actually try making a fried egg sandwich today it came out pretty good and i did it exclusively from learning from just watching these videos so what i did it's easy your boy gets like literally a, a massive stick of butter you preheat the pan and you just slab that butter all over the freaking pan Make it, like, just absolutely toasted in there. Now, the one thing I didn't have, and I, I don't... Oh, dude, catacombs have been unlocked. Welcome to the welcome to the game, brother. The one thing I didn't know... Or one thing I've noticed is that they use, like, cabbage in everything. I don't understand it. Like, every, I never would have expected cabbage to be used in a sandwich. I've, I've had cabbage before. It's not, like, my favorite type of vegetable. But it's it's okay. It's like it's like a it's like a decent like C tier oh dude, that's not good. It's a decent C tier vegetable. It's not better than lettuce. I do think lettuce is better than cabbage, but it's better than like kale, which is just God's abomination on the planet. But yeah, that's the one thing I didn't have. I fried an egg, I even got some some cold cuts, roasted them in the pan with everything because that's a secret you got to mix everything together so that the flavors marinate together do your jump attack please thank you you got to mix everything together so the flavors get a chance to to learn all about each other in the pot it came out really bland <laughs> i i like i was so proud of myself because it looked relatively well too man i wish we took oh my god i wish we took um dark bum right now now we well, but then we wouldn't have like uh, insane damage. So whatever. Case okay, Sarah. Oh, we're done. Large zit. I don't think it does anything with brimstone. It does not do. It doesn't appear to do anything with brimstone. All right. Little little concerned about our our situation here, but I am just gonna emperor card to the boss and skip this floor completely. Daddy long legs. Honestly, easiest boss I could have asked for. Thank you. And there's magic mush. So we're good. Our goal here, I mean, let's explore a little bit. We'll pop Mama Mega. But I don't want it to run out before we get to the mom's heart fight. I mean, do we even have a chance at beating the hush with what we current, like our current HP? Maybe. It's. I'll be honest with you. It has been a while since I fought the hush. But I do remember it being not as bad as I think it is. Which I don't know if that's just me being, you know, paranoid. Dude, it's a D100 room. It'll re-roll everything. Like, every item we have, every item on the ground. I don't want to use it. <laughs> this is a scary room when you're, like, just so massive. I don't want to use it. And the answer as to why is that I'm just, like, afraid that we're, we're going to get trash. And this is a good run. We did not unlock the hush. We can go down to show. We're not gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna stick with our plan, and we're gonna do this one thing at a time. All right. Anyway, yeah, the egg sandwich came out pretty bland. I'm gonna have to watch. I'm gonna have to do some more research. Hey, 
If you like the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. And of course, if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button. Join the Fade Tribe. Let's go. What do you unlock for this? Oh, good. It's the Hope Rope. Fantastic. Oh, no, Isaac, don't do that here. He's fine. He's just he's just swinging at the park. Glitch Baby has been unlocked. Transcendence has appeared in the basement. Challenge number six is here. Mama's Boy has been achieved. Pop has appeared in the basement. Dude, what a great run. I'll see you guys next time. I already did my outro, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, branding, boys.